make marks with Molly. Mark making. Here are some examples of mark making I did earlier. How to use your mark making for cards, postcards, art prints or even cut it up to make a collage. Have a think, what will you put your mark on and who will you share it with? What do I need? Paper A ruler and scissors, optional for if you choose a postcard. Then decide on any or all of the following. Pens Pencils Indian ink Paint Tea or coffee Prepare your coffee by putting a teaspoon of granules in a cup. Then add a tiny bit of water for a darker effect or more water for a lighter effect. Have a few mugs of a bit of coffee and water to experiment with different colours. For tea, simply pour some cold water from the tap in a cup and place your tea bag in. Always use cold water. Remember, you can pause the video at any time. Step 1. Let's practice on some scrap paper. Just play around and relax as you make marks on the paper. Use dots, lines, squiggles and wiggles. Have fun with it. Use your favourite colours and overlap and collage with what you're doing. Don't worry too much. We'll use a proper design later on. For now, just experiment and enjoy the process of drawing. Take as long as you want. Step 2. Decide what you want to make. Do you want to make a card, postcard or art print? For a card, simply fold in half. It can be any size you want. For a postcard, use one you already have in the house or measure out 6 inches by 4 inches. Ultimately, just make a rectangle shape. Make a straight line with your ruler and carefully cut with scissors. For my art print, I chose brown craft paper. But also, black card can look really good with white paint, or just use an A4 piece of paper. Think about how you might frame it, or if you'll put it on the fridge afterwards. Also, think about who you might send your card or postcard to. Step 3. Make your favourite marks onto a card, print or postcard. For my card, I've decided to draw flowers. I've drawn out carefully with a pencil before, as shown here. You could draw a car, or a guitar, or something that's really cool but maybe someone would like. Now I've drawn out carefully with pencil, I'm now choosing my favourite blue pen to go over and make a crinkly mark over my flower petals. I've then gone in with a big green pen to draw a nice wide line to make a stalk. Now I'm using some of my favourite mark making, lots and lots of dots. I'm also drawing some very cool lines. I've gone for blue and yellow. Don't be afraid to use some bolder marks to colour in. Colouring in is fun and relaxing and looks really good with your marks. I've also gone for some trademark wiggles and squiggles. Thank you for watching. Replay again as many times as you want to make more marks.